Hi ladies, welcome to my channel. This is an everyday glam look. Here's my after look and here's my before shot. This is where my foundation is already done, but I'm just doing a quick liquid foundation with all my primers and everything. I'm also using a translucent powder just all over to set my foundation. I want it to last all day. For my eyebrows, I'm using a pencil in brunette. It's an eyebrow pencil, just filling it in, correcting if I go outside of the shape. It's pretty quick. I'm not doing anything crazy. They don't have to be super perfect today. It's an easy glam look. Brow gel, just to set my eyebrows. I really seriously love this. You guys, if you haven't tried it, you absolutely have to. And here is the Bare Palette from Mary Kay that I am using. Isn't it so pretty? So the first one is Moonstone. It's a sparkly, it's really, really pretty. I'm applying it all over the eyelid and really the focus is on the inner corner and under the eyebrow. And then I'm just brushing it over all over the eyelid just if I have a little bit left over. Second color is Spun Silk and I'm using it exactly over the eyelid. I'm going a little bit over, a little bit higher into the crease just so the colors blend. The third eyeshadow is Hazelnut. This shadow I'm applying directly into the crease. I'm using a angled or a crease brush in this case, specifically right into that corner. I'm extending it, you can see it goes right where my eyebrow ends and it will meet right in that corner. And this is a matte shade, so it'll work really well with creating that shadow. So I'm adding a little bit of shimmer on top with rose gold. I'm doing exactly the same shape. I'm just blending it out a little bit farther, adding in a little bit more shimmer. These shades are very similar. And then I'm blending, this is my big blending brush I'm just blending it over at the edges. And at the end, if you feel like it, just add a little bit of that light color to make sure that it all still stays there. And also underneath the eye, I'm just adding a little bit of the uh, sparkly rose gold eyeshadow. For the gel eyeliner, I'm using a gel eyeliner from Mary Kay in black. I absolutely love this one, honestly, it's amazing. So I'm just taking small strokes just gentle small strokes and this I'm trying to get as thin of a line as possible but I am pulling it out a little bit farther so that when I open my eyelids and my eyelashes are on with the mascara you can see that extra little wing almost like the extension of my lashes I really want that uh, corner of my lashes to really pop out So just again, with the eyeliner, just be patient, take your time, make sure that it's exactly how you want it. And this is basically the entire length of how long it took me to do this eyeliner. I'm just cutting out the pieces where I have to get a little bit more product. So it's really pretty simple and I've just had a lot of practice, so practice. I'm using a ripe watermelon cheek color. I love it because it's so perfect for pale skin. If you have darker skin or beige skin tone, I wouldn't recommend it for this look necessarily because it doesn't look um, as just natural and like perfect for my skin tone. For a bronzer, I'm just using right in the hollow of my cheek in the corners of my forehead and right under my chin. That's really where the light is going to be hidden so I want my face to look slimmer and that'll frame my face a little bit better. For mascara I'm using a waterproof. Again this is a very long day. You can use this for a date night out or if this is your everyday makeup look. I just really wanted this makeup to stay. And you have two choices for a lipstick. This is my first choice with first blush. I love this look. It's perfect. Or you can go with something a little bit more bold like Sassy Fuchsia from Mary Kay. This is one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks ever. And Marquesa loves it too. She just loves it. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch this tutorial. I hope that you learned something very useful and you love your makeover. And subscribe to get more tutorials. Marquesa, you want them to like the video? Say please. Say please like our video. Say please. So please, please like our video. Like our video. <laughs> please like like our video, and stop by for more tutorials.